Now the first step is to install VP9 video extension. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see install button. Hit install, and then click on open Microsoft store. And then over here, if not install, you will see install button or get option, install it, and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to, if you're using process lasso, in that case, set everything to default and close process lasso. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to, if you're using NVIDIA profile inspector application, then you can restore everything to default in NVIDIA profile inspector. Now the next step is to turn off resizable base address register that is bar in system BIOS. Now before you do so, once and now once if you turn it off, once you're done playing the game, you can enable it again. But before you do so, if you're not used to making changes in system BIOS, contact PC manufacturer because incorrect changes may cause no boot issue or other issue with your computer. So you can do it at your own risk to turn off uh, resizable bar you can open windows settings you can go to system bios go to windows update and then go to advanced option recovery option over here you can see the option which is advanced startup restart your device to change startup settings so click on restart now now once you click on restart then you will see this screen so click on troubleshoot over here click on troubleshoot and then go to advanced option and then here you can see UE, UEFI firmware settings click on it and once you do so, it, it will take you to the system BIOS. Now, once you go to the system BIOS, in the system BIOS, in my case, it is in performance tab. You can go to the performance tab. And here, in my case, here you can see the resizable base address register. You can turn this off. And then once you turn it off, confirm the changes and hit apply changes. And once the changes is applied, at the bottom right, you will see exit, now exit, uh, and then the system will restart, and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. To update the BIOS, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then check. Next step is to Update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see uh, x86 and x64. You have to download both the file, x86 and x64. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Again, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, yeah, you can go to Steam. Make a right click on the game and then select manage browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. Now make a double click over here, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. So put a check over here and then click on hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then you can go to Select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working, you can even try Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, still not working, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step, hit apply, click on OK. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection, scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage your ransomware protection, click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add and allow app browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, and then select the game exe file over here, and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, 
system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case i have already added once the game is added now launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to create a new admin local user account now for this you can open windows settings and then go to accounts option and then scroll down click on other users over here and then click on add account and then click on i don't have this person signing information and then click on add a user without a microsoft account yeah add a user without a microsoft account and create a username you can create your username do not put any special character over here uh, and for password if you want a password you can enter the password or you can leave it blank and then click on next and then click on the account change account type set uh, set as administrator over here and then click on okay now restart your computer and then you have to log out and log in to your windows and you have to log in to this account which you have created and then re uh, install the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website select your graphic card and then select your operating system click on find now on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver uh, whichever is the latest geforce game ready driver you can click on view and then you can click on download over here and once the download is complete uh, you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and once that is done restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on add it add once the game is added over here find the game in the list and then click on the game and select over here high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game disable integrated graphic card now if your computer has a dual graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here and if your computer has a dual graphic card like this my is intel the integrated one you can disable the integrated one make a right click and then click on disable device now you can launch the game and then check once you are done playing the game make a come back make a right click and you can enable the device once again next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page uh, you can scroll down click on view more version and maybe you can try 581.42 or maybe 581.29 and then when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to verify the game file now for this you can go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files once the verification is complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try launching the game from nvidia app so nvidia card users you can launch nvidia app if not install you can install it on your computer and then you will find the game over here and then you can uh, click on play over here launch the game from here and then check if that does not work you can go to settings select uh, ninja game over here and then once you select the game you, you can even go to graphics and then select the game and on the right hand side uh, you will see optimize option so if you see optimize option i don't see it but uh, i'll show you a different application select ninja game and then once you select it, if you see optimize hit optimize and then launch the game if that does not work if it is already optimized you can revert the optimization and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working try debug mode so go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option in video control panel go to help and over here you can see debug mode put a check on debug mode once it is checked relaunch the game and then check still not working restore nvidia 
control panel settings now for this go to manage 3d settings and then go to global settings click on restore click on yes and at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply over here and once done now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable or enable the steam overlay now for this you can go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties and then go to general tab over here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game so if this is on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game if that does not work if it is already off you can turn it on and then check so try both on and off and then check still not working uh, now the next step is to uh, try now try this one dash dx11 or dash dx12 in the launch option so go to steam make a right click on the game and then select properties and in, in the launch option type in dash dx11 close this launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 then close it launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to now um, enable uh, disable which we have already done close all the overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings and turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can launch nvidia app and then you can go to nvidia app settings and then turn off this nvidia overlay and close nvidia overlay close all the overlay application do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert unit any kind of third party application running on your computer close everything so if you have make sure only the steam and the game is running uh, rest close all kinds of application which is running on your computer including your browsers so if you have brow like google chrome or any browser open you can close everything over here and then you can relaunch the game and then check now the next step is to use intel driver and support assistant now for this you can go to intel website go to the official intel driver and support assistant website and on this page you will see download option download intel driver and support assistant and once you download it you can launch it and then it will scan your computer and uh, if there is any kind of update uh, you will see download all option so you can download everything and then you will see install all options so download it install all once everything is installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in window search box go to control panel hardware and sound and click, click on power options in my case i have only balance in your case if you see this power saver like this you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work you can even go for balance or high performance check one by one but first of all try power saver and then launch the game enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in window search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on advanced graphics settings if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if, if this is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16 384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok 
and then OK. OK. Now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work. Then type in VR Advanced System Settings again and then click on VR Advanced System Settings. Go to Settings over here. Click on Change uh, Advanced tab and then click on Change and then select System Manage Size this time and then click on Set. Set is important. Click on OK. Click on OK over here. Hit Apply. Click on OK. OK. You will see Restart option. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working. We will revert to default. So you can type in View Advanced System Settings once again. Settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using like if you have hotas wheel pedals racing wheel uh, razor tartarus any kind of uh, extra controller connected to the computer or if you have any usb flash drive connected to the computer uh, usb dongle disconnect extra controller disconnect external keyboard and mouse remove the undervolt. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can simply uninstall the game. Now after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.